Right, hello. Um, I've just fin- Sorry, this chair moves around sometimes. I've just finished filming this week's Lockdown Bard. And I thought it was a good idea to give a little update on the whole Cyclops situation. Um, so last Friday, I was at work helping to set everything up for reopening. And <laughs> I suddenly um, was afflicted with short-sightedness. Very suddenly. Oh. Sometimes, as I mentioned in the, the, the first video about this, the right eye will take over, if I'm tired, especially. So I wasn't immediately worried. I wasn't wearing my eye patch at the time, so I thought it was just that. But then I went and I put my eye patch on, and I was still short-sighted. Usually putting on the patch solves the problem immediately, because it's just interference from the bad eye. So I was quite panicked. I was very scared and, and worried. I called the optician and I made an appointment for the next day. Several hours later though, the it cleared up. The short-sightedness left. Um, I still went to my appointment the next morning. The optician said that my left eye is still perfectly healthy. Absolutely no problems since my last checkup and that the brief short-sightedness was probably something called pseudomyopia, which is when the muscles in, the muscles around the eye spasm and prevent your eye from focusing properly. So I was, I was very scared for a while until finding that. It's, it's totally harmless. It might hit me again, but if it does, I now know what it is. <sighs> but yeah. Um, yeah. That. <sighs> I'm tired. But thankfully, um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not descending into full blindness. It's not keratoconus getting my, my left eye as well as my right eye. It's just I had a um, a rare eye affliction in a different rare eye affliction in both eyes simultaneously, like a shit version of heterochromia. Yep, yeah, lucky me. But um, <laughs> I'm fine. I was just very scared. The right eye. The bad eye has apparently gotten. V I can't remember if she said it got very slightly worse or is exactly the same. Actually, no, that was it. The the vision, the the obscuration from the keratoconus has gotten slightly worse, but the health of the eye, other than having keratoconus, is the same. It's not gotten any worse. There is um. A thing that can happen from keratoconus called corneal hydrops, which is where one of the layers inside the eye itself will crack open and the, the, the inner jelly starts mixing with the outer jelly and it's bad, but I have, I'm showing absolutely no signs of that developing. Um, just the cone that the front of my eyeball has become is becoming conier. And, and that is impeding the vision more. But honestly, more impediments to an eye that I'm already having to wear a fucking eye patch on. I don't care. As long as it's, as long as it's not going to fucking kill me or make my face start to rot or cause me pain or something, I don't fucking care. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's that's the update. Keratoconus is getting conier. <laughs> My left eye is still fine. I just get twitchy sometimes. That and the twitchiness makes my my vision bad temporarily. But yeah, I'm I'm okay. So it's all fine. It's all fine.